Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Nama aku Zul Kuasa hari ni rehat Kuasa nak buat Kuasa macam sharing session kot Or Punya workflow for You know punya pre-wording video Called dia If you haven't seen the video You can check out the full link below Don't judge me Ni basically first time Aku buat video Menggunakan software yang aku Not commonly use Contohnya macam uh, The Vinci Resolve It's just that The couple Macam bagi freedom In terms of Uh, to experiment with the video This is what I did For the actual video I actually edit offline Pakai Adobe Premiere And color grading pun Pakai Premiere juga It's just Belanja nak pakai Resolve Tapi disebabkan time Shoot area hard And then nak kena Macam tunjuk hari Dia ada Sunday So uh, Nak mengedit pun Nak ambil masa 2-3 hari Because all, it's all about You know um, Experimenting lah So uh, I never did have In my head How everything is going to be like Once dah shoot everything uh, I've got the script I've got the audio note Plum tin Adobe Premiere Cut 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 Masuk 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 Try few here and there So uh, The outcome is what you see lah I rasa I'll be sharing like Rough workflow of uh, How I did um, Not to say everything but It's what you see lah My first workflow will be In Adobe Premiere uh, Dalam Adobe Premiere ni macam It's kind of like Interesting juga Where I shot everything in I shot everything using uh, GH5 and it was on 4K 50 frames per second at uh, 50p and it's a matter of trying out uh, you know try and error with the camera settings uh, I use lens baby which tak pernah pakai bawa aje lens sebenarnya tapi macam dia kat sana macam eh ada lens ni macam try lah so you get that you know that stretch bokeh arrow focus that of feel kind of treatment uh, I use the 85 Samyang with like Let a uh, bit Atlantic punya anamorphic filter and uh, also Sigma 1835 f1.8 uh, Canon mount. Uh, basically dalam Premiere kalau aku tengok um, what I did was color correct, not so color correct lah. Uh, I played around with like you know color grading using a lot. As you can see in post, uh, here's the before and here's the after. The filter I used is Lumetri color in Premiere. What it does is You can like input a lot Color, basically macam color preset lah in general terms uh, Colorist sorry, dengan bash aku Benda ni semua bahasa ni aku Still tengah explore lagi What it does is basically you can um, You can actually customize your own color presets Which is lot And you can view in your GH5 When you're out for shoot And during post macam you can still alter around So basically this lot macam you know If you want to see, if you're shooting on a flat color profile, like for GH5, you got LUT. Uh, you want to see flat color so that you want to see a composition. I mean, because how it was recorded. And for LUT, it's basically you want to see how the colors output. It helps during your shoot so that you know, like, color shoot flat, everything's like, you know, your, your highlights is like, diturunkan, and your darkness dinaikkan. Everything like, look, everything, semua benda nampak pale, flat. And it is because in post, you can, you know, still, adjust those contrast, those colors, uh, those values are still adjustable. Dia macam shoot raw lah lebih kurang. I I prefer to shoot on vlog so that like I said, more color control lah. So for this, aku rasa itu aku pakai apa lah. Allah ay. Wakino, it is from yep, IWLTBAP. Huh? And this is it. Before aku terlupa, the way aku bekerja dengan 4K nya file, PC aku tak power mana pun. Um, sometimes bila nak load 4K ni It changes Basically 4K is changing our workflow And 4K um, is not small It's huge Macam satu wedding Kena before this macam 30 meg 30 gig To 40 gig From one cam But now macam At least macam 65 to 70 gigabyte Like one shoot from one cam So bayangkan kalau ada 2-3 camera yang macam GH5 shoot But I got So the way how we do it is uh, proxies uh, proxy ni macam a low res version of the high res footage so that you can edit based on this uh, low res file dulu so that it loads faster it plays faster playback pun macam uh, it's much cleaner and basically once your edit your offline edit is done uh, basically what it does is you can replace back with the high res and you can start doing online um, stages which is color correction graphics ke you know like uh, anything that does that you need a high res file you can tukar balik lah So basically if you have a laptop yang macam slow, super slow Macam you can like convert your files And like you do proxies Macam uh, 1280 by 720 nya resolution Or even even smaller like 960, 540 nya resolution uh, It's much faster doing that way Rather than load all your pocket files And edit your raw footage Which is tak payah lah um, So once that is done 
So what I do, once I got all the offline in Premiere, uh, I'll just clean up my timeline. What I'll do is I'll export an XML file. Basically, XML file ni macam it's like a notepad version of your video editing project files so that other editing softwares can read your timeline. Um, type to chase. Yep. So I'll just export Luna W Web uh, 03. So, okay. Yes, yes to everything. Let's go on with DaVinci Resolve uh, It's a public beta version So in Resolve, what I do is I go file I import the XML file Yeah, I'm to So which is what I said just now Which I said just now was P1 and 03 So my setting is as per Biarkan default The setting as Macam mana Dia boleh baca lah basically Macam it's just a setting that you want Macam yeah, it's okay So When it loads so I got all my files. So if you notice, which I think I shot some some of it was in full HD. My resolution for this uh the, my timeline resolution or my sequence resolution is 1920817. It's kind of like anamorphic in setting, so not cinematic uh, looks here. Uh, that's why you can see like there's a gap, um, black gap left and right of the footage or my timeline. Uh, so. Well, uh, if you can, you can see from here. Uh, I got all my audio, uh, my music as well. So, but one is media is basically where you load all your files, your footages. Edit is where basically yeah, you can edit your footages in uh, the VC result. And color is where you do all your colorings. And fairlight is for audio mixing or audio adjustment. Music. Deliver is how you're gonna output your file. So smooth now, nak kat bawah ni je. In coloring, okay, this color tab is where I adjust everything. So since the resolution ni macam kecil, uh, what I'll do is basically I just adjust the framing. This is where DP, uh, colorist is also a DP where you know you can compose a shot, uh, you can play with colors, lighting. Um, like you do vignette pun macam, it's actually DP in your job juga macam to set the mood and color of your shots. Um, so everyone plays like almost the same role like even cameraman or some like director pun macam you have your feel or and mood of your visuals I won't go into detail because aku sendiri pun tak tahu macam mana nak nak explain everything so banyak gila um, aku rasa it's nice kalau aku just share apa yang aku tahu but do please colorist-colorist yang lain set you ke apa do share your thoughts kalau aku salah buat kerja ke apa but this is my, I think this is uh, how I did my um, project and I think it works for me so if it doesn't, jangan ikut yang ambil benda yang elok-elok je uh, ok so basically you see like ok banyak benda lah, just play around basically you need your time with your resolve like on off here and there, tekan-tekan semua just to get to know like what's everything and what's everything from here basically aku nak jimat space, I want to see the visual more so I just hide my clips but I want to see my timeline so that I know like how long is the clip, like what clip is I'm working, which clip that I'm working on. Tengah-tengah uh, ni is basically the visuals, uh, what I'm seeing in my timeline. Uh, on the left, gallery ni I can take out so I jimat my space. For the notes, uh, okay, notes is basically it's like layering system but it's not by layer, it's by note. Note is like, senang kata um, how many notes you are in, say alternate S. So, the more notes you add, slash layers you add, is basically what's on top. They might like just layer in Premiere, Photoshop, or uh, After Effects. And what's underneath the last note is affected by the last ones. Okay, so, kalau contoh as simple, uh, contoh as simple as this, macam aku adjust certain color. Kalau add a new one, kalau this one pula, adjust lagi macam, okay, oh, berguna lah, contoh lah. So, Kalau aku off yang atas, yang bawah macam still like before lah So you get what I mean Dia tak ada, dia, dia pening bila macam Semua benda yang kat bawah-bawah ni Kau tarik-tarik macam kau Boleh macam groupkan note ni lah Kau add sub note lah Note add note serial parallel lah Ni macam ni macam tengah buk sikit lah sebenarnya So Aku rasa for me sebelum aku get things more confusing Even for me I like to simplify stuff so Usually aku ada 3 notes in total inclusive the original note. So by original note, original note is the 0 1 lah. So if I add a new note, the first note will be like color correct. But what I mean by color correct is getting the white balance right. Uh, I correct the color first and then I add another one. 
color grade basically you grade your color based on the mood and the settings that you want ok so um, ni pun aku belajar semua ni based on tutorials yang aku tengok online lah so yang tu semua putih so hopefully this one helps you guys a bit lah uh, ok first step is basically I'll do one note uh, alternate S uh, if you can see from now here the scope uh, I like playing around with parade punya color scopes uh, vector scope tak kerti baca sangat histogram gitu-gitu je tapi for now I'll, I'll use with parade so in parade punya vector scope ni basically what you want to see is these are your three RGB channels red, green and blue what you want is actually like your waveform or your color waveform scopes is just nice from the bottom which is darkness dark darkness shadows and to the top which is highlights it's within that range takde yang picking which is takde yang keluar daripada you know that scope and takde yang terbawah sangat ok i show you now how I'm scared but on the, in your color wheel on the left this is the the wheels that I'm used to go for color and the color wheels there's four uh, basically lift, gamma, gain and offset in general speaking in general punya bahasa nak color grade lift is basically your shadows gamma is basically your mid range your mid, mid tones your gain is your highlight uh, offset is like overall color so yeah, salah, salah explain lah do cut me off if, or comment lah kalau cakap, cakap benda ni salah uh, so other ways if I just change the lift basically the shadow je so that's why I see macam masa scope ni this is what I meant by getting your color scope so kalau macam kalau aku naikkan punya biru so biru mana ke highlight the blue highlights is like dah sampai atas so kalau macam aku tarik where the color wheel is macam hijau hijau dia naik so uh, what I'll do is I wanna get the right color for me ada banyak cara but this is my way uh, I just basically turunkan the value overall for all so that you see that the color macam turun ok first sorry before that aku rasa better aku zoom footage aku like ngam-ngam kalau tidak reading vector dia macam labah 1, 2, 3 oh sorry 1, 2 ok pen is basically ok what I'm doing is sizing in my sizing which is this tab is basically like how I will size my framing pen is of course the left and right position tail is top and bottom position zoom is basically your scale rotate is the rotate once this is right, so my reading is right, dah takde yang black frame apa semua tu and then I'll adjust my uh, my lift, which is my shadows for all overall I'll increase my gain dulu, sebab I want to see like you know that mid range punya colour aku rasa macam for this one, macam tak payah go all out macam sampai 1, 2, 3 apa sangat, just everything you know in mid range that's why I say macam between 1, 0, 2, 3 into like for, tak sampai 0 uh, and then in between punya gamma tu macam this is where your nice reading is lah but then again don't judge by vector sikit tengok mata juga sedap mata pandang dan sedap lah semuanya once this is ok you just play around with ok kalau aku nak biasa kalau aku cari nak cheat aku nak main dengan tint or white balance aku just shift dia punya offset so offset ni macam let's say macam is too blue dan aku go back to white so basically tadi macam aku rasa macam dah ok lah kot so your value macam your blue Highlights macam nak turun sikit So less scan the blue So turun sikit So I increase the rate What else? And the rates Punya shadows ni macam tinggi So I turunkan the rates And the shadows I probably dia turunkan And then the punya green is like too high Then again Sebab memang banyak green pun So but I don't want it too high So shadows turunkan So probably I go up a bit Apa kalau lebih kurang Tapi tak kena ha, Tapi biru So Sebab shadow kat biru aku tinggi sangat That's why because kalau tengok dalam shift uh, lift ni My sh my point is at more towards the blue So aku rangkan lah Tapi sikit tadi macam dah okey lah sebenarnya So uh, Just play around See what I think is right Macam okey hijau just nice Then For me macam dah okey If you want bawah ni boleh control lagi punya contrast Highlight can turunkan overall So that Atau tau Ustaz Somehow aku nak play macam bawah 896 Oh my man Ada orang kata macam Just play around that Not too high Not too low I think it's broadcast safe Or something like that Sebab kalau view dekat Vector scope uh, There's some channel Apa lah For broadcast it's safe So Nice one man So That's done And then the next process Is basically Okay Color grading Cara orang malas Main dengan preset uh, For me uh, Aku suka Both ways uh, Sometimes I load a lot A color lot 
and I play around with the color. Uh, in Resolve, beginner senang ah. Uh, all you do is right click on your node, your new node, go for LUT. <coughs> LUT ni semua dalam folder lah. Basically, there's a tutorial on how you want to load your LUT into your Resolve so that you can read. So, senang bila dah, if you got new LUTs, just masuk ke dalam folder tu. All you do is like, go to your settings, pergi dekat color management, uh, bawah ni you can update your list Kau nak buat benda lah sebab aku punya gila lat Macam tinggal lama gila Or you can open your lat folder so Basically everything is in that lat folder lah Other than that Okay once you have um, Once all the lats are in the folder What I'll do is uh, Go for right click um, 3D lat And the one that I chose Basically tunjuk terus lah So I got like the free humble punya Humble punya lat It's kind of cool as a banyak if you like it. Uh, and I got psychedelia lats. Uh, because I use a VLOG, um, you, I'm loading the VLT. I go for VLOG lat. And the one I use was Okino. Okay. Um, and then from here, because okay, you can see that everything is like kurang kabut. So basically this lat, because still boleh adjust lagi. Probably like kurang kadang punya contrast. A little bit. So you see your vector scope macam dah turun sikit um, Decrease your highlight still Increase your shadows, your black value jangan too much And then your mid range depending on the um, data in that visual so what I show off um, So yeah I mean that's the first clip So let's say macam there are other angles like macam similar to this or similar shots You want to play the same thing It's as easy as copy and paste or there's another way hold up change the clip uh, let's say like macam these two clips ok kita tukar look ok main um, apply grid ha, so dia terus tukar ui padahal dua tahun sebenarnya tu so aku rasa tu yang paling cepat aku boleh buat tutorial and from here ok once dah load all your lights actually semua ni kau dah apply bagai apa semua uh, you can go to deliver Uh, you can render out like one whole video into one clip or separate files uh, sorry, single clip or individual so let's say macam dalam premium nak masuk balik nak still adjust ke apa semua you can do that as individual clip so yeah that's about it I think um, aku rasa still gener generic sangat aku dah punya tutorial ni but this is like as simple as I can share and I hope it does help other people yang macam nak try into resolve aku tahu Ami pun macam nak try edit Ami is my editor aku tahu dia pun macam nak try juga this color grading pakai uh, resolve dia harapnya aku tak salah tas, tas, tafsirkan cara aku buat kerja dengan orang lain uh, like I said there's no right or wrong I think but we are better or easier way of doing things hope it does help everyone else out there do leave a comment subscribe to motion scientist punya youtube channel and hit the subscribe button hope to see you again soon insyaAllah Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh